Welcome back, everybody. Wow, that's a weird noise. We're going to play Eagle City. Uh, we're going to play the Outward Nine, then the Inward Nine, because they're both in the open online format today. And they're both regular tees, normal cups. So I was going to have a go with standard clubs and balls and um, see how we get on. Oh, first things first, though. Never miss a chance to steal some gems. I may, I may come back for it. So, first hole. Nine hole round. 18 under. Standard, standard. Not much wind. See what we can do. I mean, obviously with the custom clubs, you can drive the green and chip in, but even with standard clubs on this hole, you can get pretty close and, and get a chip. So, see what our chipping skills like today. No, oh. pace was all right. Line was line was lacking. Still got a birdie though. Still got a birdie pup. Nearly underread that. It's a big start. Obviously, I've got 1300 on this setup and a bunch of. Uh... Oh, it looks like they're all round two, actually. That makes some sense. Let me just see if I can find the. Um... The gem There's a side spinner ball. You may have seen my little video on all the ball types yesterday. Actually, should have played this with a triple impact or some precision impact to see what it was like. Oh, I think the gem's up this end, which is a bit annoying. Warp token. There it is. That's why. It's hidden at the end of that little spawny bit. So, two. Uh, we're downwind. We have got enough length to get there. The problem's getting it in. <laughs> Trying to get it bent oh, round. Maybe the side spinner ball would help. And we've got it sort of pin high. Let's just get the gem while we're here. It'll be here somewhere. That's a Sam Viper. Coin, coin. Come on, where's the gem? I got all the garbage around the first tee, didn't I? Where is it gone? I did hear a spawn noise up here, though. But it can't be in this, this group, because I cleared this group out. Sometimes you just don't find them hidden in a bush. I think it's hidden in a bush. I think unless you actually run over it, you're not going to get it. Which is annoying. Let's play the shot. Right, we got a chip. Again, our failure last time was line. Champion. <sighs> you have basically got to chip them. You got to chip them, or get on the green and give yourself a give yourself a putt for the eagle. It's a very very start. Three's the albatross of hole. I mean, apparently you can actually do condors on this one, but um, I do not have the length to do it. So we'll see if we can play up here. Whoa. A bit of tree. A little bit of tree. That's alright though. Cut the corner a bit. That's some 25 left. Alright. Alright. 
miss the impact. It's going to be a little bit offline, but it should be close. That's not bad. Yeah, there's some more stuff there. I heard that. So why is this stuff on three? Does this count as two? Well, I suppose it must count as two. There was another little secret spawn area. I did not know about. Still can't see the gem though. Always check behind the boards. No, not in the board, not in the bush. Not over here. Oh, no, coin, coin. Well, I don't know where it is then. I've definitely collected everything. Let's take the part. Some days, the course just does not want to give up its secrets. Unlike its eagles. So four under. Four. It's not really worth the power shot. You can't get it that much closer. We're on the short stuff, that's all that matters. We're going to be about 80, 90 away? Yeah, 90 away. So, slightly hanging by. A little bit of wind. A little bit downhill. Missed the impact. Should be close, though. That'll do, mate. Amazing. For the buddy. It's a nice, straightforward birdie putt. That's five under. So we've got a par five now. It's a par five. And again, we can cut the corner on this one. I mean, assuming I don't miss the shot and hit the tree. That looks like it's going to be all right. I was just trying to cut the bend out, really. Give ourselves a better second shot. 172 left. What's that going to be? 5 iron. My mighty 5 iron. Okay. Uh, yeah, good shot. Good, good. It's a bit of a bad. It's a little bit long, but that's not bad from 108 yards away. Inside 10 foot. Of ourselves a pretty simple eagle pup. And she goes. Seven under. We've got a par four next. Six. It's a par four. Again, it's got that little brook and that little. Yeah, the real question is can I drive that? Well. Let's see if we can get it to skip on. Bounce. Bounce. Uh. That was the answer. How are we going to drop, though? Okay. I'll have to go backspin for this one. And we got the ultra backspin. Right, I need to come back a bit. Oh, I was online as well. Focus. Sadly, this is only for the part. But considering we stuck it in the water, that's not a bad recovery. Even seven under. Kept the bogey off the card. Seven is a par three. Seven's the dinky little par three. Oh. Right, this is going to be a bit interesting. We'll go backspin again. Didn't get it. Wind should turn it over a bit. Hopefully they bounce on that hump. And sure. Good, good. Yeah. And then sort of stop. Oh, look at that. I'll take that. For a I will take that. Sometimes the par threes are the hardest. You don't get them close. But then again, on Eagle City, the greens are pretty forgiving. Oh, it's a par four. 
So eight again, just gotta be mindful of these bunkers. They're not a real threat, but you don't want to give them a chance to interfere with your play. I think we shot the gap between them. Yeah, that's all right. So that should leave me about 1980. A bit closer than I thought I'd be. not bad. I'll take that. For a Dead straight pup. It's a nine under and then we got the par three to finish it. It's a par three. Uh, pin sort of frontish. We'll have to go back spin. We got the ultra max spin. Great shot. Champion. We're gonna need it. Needs to come back a bit. That's not bad. Amazing. For the birdie. It's a six foot for the birdie and ten under. It's all right. I mean, obviously with custom clubs you could turn a lot of those birdies into eagles, but we kept the bogey off. Um, got ourselves two eagles. That's not bad. Stat should be all right. You don't seem to get the problem anymore. It used to hang on this bit, and you wouldn't get a score. So let's see how we did stats-wise. Yeah, we missed a fairway, Mr. Green, but nothing terrible. Right, let's play the inward nine, see what we can score on that. Bear in mind, I'm not going to find that. Um, I must have got the most Japanese server ever. They're all writing away. It's a regular one again. So here we go, inward nine of Eagle City. Um, if my maths is right, yeah, <laughs> they should all be around 12. Um, let see if we can find the gem before we start. Definitely heard something spawn, there it is. That's one of the rocks there. Are any of these? Ah, there's a gem. Sneaky little bugger. Well, we got one. Actually, I don't even want to play this hold on. <laughs> I've got to get to 10. Right, let's get the second oh, half man. underway after that. It's a par five. Grinding can be annoying. So, straight down the middle. Again, not really worth the power shot. Shortens up your iron shot a little bit, but nothing that really matters. So, 194. Going to be a 3 iron anyway. Going to have to go backspin here. Oh, got the ultra backspin as well. Or is it going to land? Yeah, line more than anything else. The length was pretty good. Don't let the eagle slip. So, looks first proper putt we've had. Breaks to the left. Muscles it a bit. Try and make it hold its line. Oh, just needed to borrow a bit more, didn't I? Feels like feels bad. Feels like a miss. Feels like a miss. Mm, so I've got 13 under for this nine as well with custom clubs. So Oh, 
Oh, managed to miss that shot. Where's that going to go? Still going to go left on me, which is good. Just going to end up in the rough, I suspect. Yeah. Cart path sometimes you get an... Um, Don't take your eye off the gate. You get a drop. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I didn't hit any tree. I was assuming I was going to pang that off a tree. But we got it on, by the looks of it. Oh, chippable. So, can we pull off our little bit of chipping magic? Nah, line was never there. Pace was nice, though. Focus. Yeah, just have to take the part and go away. But I'll tell between our legs, knowing we left two shots in the first two holes. So it's 12. I've been run around the thing, trying to find that gem. Uh, seven iron, so let's go top spin. Oh, we are probably short. Unless this gets some sort of bounce. Which it did. Oh. Ridiculous. I swear sometimes it does that just to wind you up. So 13. The wind will help me a little bit here, won't it? Yeah. Again, trying to hold a one wood is not easy. It's going to be all about where this bounces. Oh my days. If that had hit the pin, that would have been some shot. Right, better to run it through then and end up short there. So, chip time. Good, good. Oh. For a I still got the birdie chance, but I'm just not converting any of these eagles. I need one of those days when my chipping form is just spot on. I mean, maybe even the 15 yard approach ball might oh, help me there. It's a powerful. Ah, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more restrained on this one today. Masterful. No, I'm just going to run out. Oh, no, held. Oh, look at that. Like I played for it. So 70 yards to go. That tree shouldn't do too much. Got the back spin. Plunked it down, spin it back. That's not bad. Inch pops. It's a four under. Not got the eagles yet. 15 is the path three. It's a little bit of wind, but nothing major. What does your mate want? Without using spin? Yeah. Oh, we'll give it a go. Got the impact. Oh, nice shot. The question is, did I allow enough for the wind? A nice bounce. Oh. Peach of a shot, not my two gems, but... Sometimes worth just trying those challenges just to see if you can do it. It's five under that. And then we've got four four have to finish. So sixteen, home of the home of the water skin. Oh it's up where uh, see upwind I don't fancy it. If it was downwind I'd have a crack at that. Upwind, no chance. Yeah, we just wouldn't have. We didn't have any near to the length, did we? We'd have been in the water. So, 51 yards to go. Uh, top spin's probably the shot. Oh, that's pretty good. Go for the birdie! 
Yeah, I just want to convert an eagle here, really. That would give me a much better score. Nice birdie. To six under. 17's another par 17. four. It's a par four. Wind's not going to help me too much here, is it? Got the top spin. See how far down we can roll it. A natural slope will bring it round to the right a little bit for me. Can we chip it in is the question. It's a 46 to go. Slightly hanging lie. Wind's going to bring it back and the slope's going to take you that way. Maybe about there. Didn't get any spin on it. That's close though. That's good. Just lots of very, very short putts. Not managed to chip any of them in. Then again, it's pretty hard for 45. You get it inside 30, it's much easier to chip them. It's a seven under. Got the par five to finish. Last one. Again, it's a par five. There's a corner cut here if you don't hit the tree. Got hold of it. It's not bad. It's going to be 300 yards. Going to leave me 170. So be five, six iron. I am off. Yeah. It's going to be a bit interesting. Ah, I missed the impact. Masterful. Right shot though. Oh, it's gone way left. Oh, gonna be in the sand. That's what happens. Look at all the left hand sway it got. Ah. Now, if I ever wanted anything, anything, I want this one to go in. No. Go with it. Go for the birdie. And she pops, eight under. Ah, uh, just didn't convert any. That was the disappointing part of that round. Let's have a look at the stats. Part of it wants to come up with the custom clubs and triple impact balls and just blow it away. But we don't get any better doing that. So let's have a look at the stats. I mean, we definitely missed one, two, three. Mr. Green. Ah, I'm mad. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment and I'll see you next time for a little bit more Everybody's Golf.